one. What is up, YouTube? HPJ here, and I'm coming at you guys with some information from BT18. So, BT18 is going to be host to a lot of familiar faces. I don't even know what the name of BT18 is, I'm not even going to lie. But we're just going to call it BT18 for right now till uh, I can post this on YouTube and then give you guys more information. But um, as we all know, when you see Zoe, you're expecting to see Yellow Hybrid. Well, Bandai decided not to go for our typical Yellow Hybrid Queen and rank her a Green and Red Hybrid Queen. It's a very odd combination and I'll explain my reasons for why. I love it, but also hate it at the same time. So we have Zoe Miyamoto, and we have the Spirit of Wind line from the Digimon Frontier series uh, getting more support. So instead of making her the combination of, I don't know, yellow and green, excuse me, or green and yellow, they decided to go for green and red. Well, in addition to that, Zephyrmon and Kazemon are also going to be in that same lineup of red and green. So it's only a matter of time before we see Jet Sophiemon, and she will also fit into the mold of red and green. Of green and red. Red and green, green and red. Is, look, they're not yellow. So starting off is Zoe Miyamoto herself. I mean, Orimoto herself in uh, Security Effect. Play this card with no cost. At the start of your turn, uh, during your main phase, start your main phase by trashing one hybrid or ten warriors card from your hand. Draw one card. Inheritable. During your turn, once a turn, uh, when this Digimon deletes an opponent's Digimon by battle, you may play one tamer card. With an inheritable effect from your hand without paying the memory cost. So this is basically you speed up your process of using um, or putting a lot of your hybrids onto the board once she's part of someone's Digivolution Slurs. While in her main setup, um, by discarding a card from your hand to the trash that has hybrid or two warrior, you're able to then pick, you're able to then draw a card. Now, let's go on to her other, to the Spirits of Wind themselves. Uh, we have Kazemon, which is hybrid, uh, hybrid visible fairy. Uh, evolution of two off of Zoimimoto and zero off of Zephyrmon. On evolution, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon on attack. You may Digivolve one of your Digimon tamers into a green or red Digimon hybrid from your hand at uh, one with one less evolution cost. It's inheritable. All turns when this Digimon would leave the battle area, other than your own by your own effects, you may play one tamer from your hand with an inheritable effect from this evolution source without paying the memory cost. Zephyrmon hybrid viable birdkin evolves off the of Zoe Mimoso for three, one off of Kazemon piercing on play. Um, when on play, when did on play or when did evolving until the end of your opponent's turn, one of your opponent's Digimon gain one of your Digimon gains plus DKDP, then inheritable piercing. So it's a lot of focus on red and green hybrid while also giving the inheritable of piercing damage. If you guys don't know what piercing damage is, um, in Digimon, basically, when you swing at a Digimon you will still be able to hit the security. Um, basically, a piercing damage for one, um, if you will. And it's basically kind of similar to how when in Yu-Gi-Oh, when you attack a monster in defense position, and that monster um, blocks, and your attack is higher than that monster's defense, uh, the outcome is that if it has piercing battle damage, it does inflict your opponent with damage. So you're getting the same results here with the similar ability with a similar ability um in digimon uh if you want to see what their artworks are this is zephyrmon and this is kazemon so not too bad there i also believe that's tinkermon in zephyrmon's artwork so they're gonna hint as um maybe they're getting a red or green hybrid card for uh um for Tinkermon, that'd be nice. My overall opinion on it is that I, I, I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna be very honest. 
I don't like the combination of her being red and green because this is more so pushing for Takuya support than it is for Zoe. I don't understand why they're not trying to make her viable for being wind. I guess because it's a lot of mixed things because a lot of people are saying, oh, they want to associate wind with green, but you already have a character in the hybrid series that's associated with green. Two of them, I believe. Um, because one's associated with ice, one's associated with lightning, but her associated colors were pink. So, we, I would have understood maybe red or maybe red and yellow, but they didn't want to take that road because red and yellow would also mean more support for uh, Marcus Damon and Shining Greymon, but this is also still support for Shining Greymon anyway, because Shining Greymon isn't just red. I mean, yellow, he's also red. So, it does leave a lot of viable causes to what the hell is anyone thinking when they come up with this, but in my honest opinion, I'm going to be very, very, like, honest and just say that, yeah, I don't like the fact that this is what they're focusing her on. Um, it honestly could be a lot better in my personal opinion, because I would have preferred her to be red or green. I mean, red and yellow, or something with yellow. Because now you're just excluding all the stuff that included the hybrid stuff that you already created for Zephyr, for for the wind, Spirit of Wind line. Um, other than that, yeah, I'm not too happy about it. But I will honestly have to say that, yeah, I think it's not, it's not bad, but I feel like it could have definitely been better. And just with the overall line of the things, it's, uh, it better hit some mark, because I definitely want to see what um, Zephyr, what um, Jet Sophie Mon is going to be looking like, and what is Ancient Kazumon going to be, and what her line, what her setup is going to be, because it sounds like it's going to be a lot of piercing damage, a lot of suspending, and a lot of playing cards out of the trash um, to make things viable for other effects. Because um, in anything, it's just, it's, she sounds like she's going to do a lot of suspending. Um, and then you just have Zoe, who's going to be doing some draw power. I mean, like I said, it's not a bad attempt at trying to revive hybrid. Or, well, at this point, we might as well just call it Zoe hybrid, because it's just going to still focus on Zoe. But now it has now it's gonna take the already aspects of green and red to make this deck something more than what it is. And I'm not a big fan of it. I'm just not a big fan of it. I'm not blown away by oh yay, look, it's the return of, of Zoe in you know the spirit of wind. <laughs> why can't it be in green and yellow? Like why there's there no instance of hybrid from the yellow aspect, or at that point, are you just going to change it, and then you're going to have yellow hybrid compete with green and red hybrid, because if turning the Spirit of Wind into green and red is supposed to save red and or green hybrid, red hybrid doesn't need the saving, because red hybrid has a ton of support on its own. Green hybrid, on the other hand, I feel like, well, we kind of already have it, so what was the point? was, you know, the real difference. I, I'm just not a fan of it. I'm really not. I don't like the change. I, I don't like change a lot to begin with. And I'm not liking the fact that they changed her to Red Hybrid. I feel like she should have stayed yellow. Or have the instance of yellow. But, uh, I mean, the effects are okay. Piercing isn't bad. And having a tamer to draw cards by discarding cards. That kind of seems like more of it setting up for a red hybrid duo with Zoe and Takuya. Because remember, Takuya's ability, a lot of Takuya's cards, especially his um, his his four-cost tamer, um, picked up hybrids from the trash, then put them all together under that tamer. So then you can then become... Uh, Emperor Greymon. So that could be a good setup there. You can do a Zoe Takuya combination. I don't know anything about um, JP because honestly, I did not study Green Hybrid enough to know what JP's aspects were. They were probably basically combining Insect with Hybrid and then trying to speed up the process of putting the Hybrid on the board to then susceptibly go into some of the bigger Insectoids. 
um, to do some piercing, to do some damage there, whether it's suspending cards or doing piercing damage. So, yeah, there is a lot to take advantage of this. Um, I want to wait to see what Jet Sophimon looks like, but I'm not too skeptical on it. I mean, right side is I don't have to buy green sleeves, because I can at least use those, but I'm not too happy about the color change. I wish she would have stayed red. I mean, she would have had the hints of yellow. Maybe her hybrid or her full evolution will, but I'm not too happy. I'm not too happy. But maybe you guys can persuade me into why this seems a little better. Do you guys think you'll stick to it? Or will there be some more at it? Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about the changes for Zoe Hybrid. Do you prefer her to stay yellow? Um, are you excited for her green and red? I don't know. Let me know that in the comment section. So, with that said, uh, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, I appreciate the support you guys are giving, especially with all the reconstructing that I have to do for recording. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel as it helps me out tremendously. You can hit the notification bell to be afforded of when I do upload more content to the channel. My social media links are in the description box below. And with that said, thanks everyone for watching. HBJ signing out. Take care.